Hello and welcome back to our ESPN NFL 2K5 Buffalo Bills franchise. Today we are traveling to Seattle to take on the 8-2 Seahawks in game number one. And in game number two, we're going to be traveling again to take on the Miami Dolphins, who are currently 4-6 and six on the season. So it should be a couple nice games here. Uh, tough game versus Seattle. Again, look, look at Arizona. Still looking for their first win. Um, and a divisional game against the Miami Dolphins. Should be some fun contests, I think. What's up, Tyler? Welcome, welcome. As always, don't forget to slap the like button, guys. And subscribe if you're new. Plenty more PS2 sports action coming up on the channel. Alright, let's make sure we're all good to go here. And we will take them on. Let's go. All right. Buffalo at Seattle. This should be a fun game. I've been looking forward to this one, actually. All right. Let's get it. I'm ready. Of course, it's raining in Seattle, because, you know, why not? Why not? All right, defense out first. Here we go. Good kick to start things off for us. Costa, what's up, Alex? <clears throat> Battle of a couple of the top teams in the league today, Buffalo and Seattle. Why am I kicking against the wind? Because if I kick against the wind in the first quarter, I will kick with the wind in the second against in the third and I'll be kicking with the wind again in the fourth quarter in case we need a game tying or winning field goal to be easier at the end of the game. All right, Hasselback, Jackson, and Trufant. That's some big players on the injury list. Trent Dilfer is in for the Seahawks. Get him, boys. Nice hit. Of course, we do always have to look out for Sean Alexander, though. What an absolute monster he is at halfback. Lone Fletcher. All right, here we go. Third and five. Get him. Nice play action. 
action built for all day to throw. He's got a man open and it is deflected away. Nice closing speed there. Uh, let's go return left with Mr. Terrence McGee. So much rain right now, it's insane. And decent return up past the 30. Weird seeing the Seahawks with the white pants and the steel blue jerseys. I agree. I do agree. It's been a while. And a decent run for Henry. A couple yards. wonder if that's how it was supposed to look. Before the players decided they liked the blue on blue better. It might have been. I'm not sure. Blue on blue does look pretty nice though. Up top and drops by Lee Evans. And we got a third and eight. Not a good start for the offense. Play action and we're sacked. All right, putting it away. Not a good start. Brian Mormon on for the punts. Wire, get there, brother. Nice tackle at the 39 yard line. Bill stuck with white on navy on the road and navy on white at home. The 2000s look would have been okay. Yeah, you're probably right. Oh, nice interception for Vincent. Got blockers ahead of him. Tries to cut it back through and gets dropped at the Seattle 44-yard line. Not a good throw from Trent Dilford. Through that very tight coverage, there was three Buffalo Bill defenders there. That's Troy Vincent's second pick on the season. Kind of gotten lucky this season with some of the matchups we've had. That was not a good throw. That's Bullway with the pick. Oh my goodness, nice tackle. Man, the rookie with a nice interception. Michael Bullway. I threw it right to him. Let's be honest here. Led the receiver a bit too far, and we have back-to-back -back picks by Dilfer and Bledsoe. Corin Robinson, good season in 2002, or 2003, rather. Alexander going out to the slot. Okay, interesting. And deflected away at the line of scrimmage. Third down to four, coming up. Now, those are some big-time injuries for Seattle. It's impressive that they have eight wins 
with all those players out. Get him. Nice hit. Fourth down. Some sloppy offense so far in this one. We're all struggling just a little bit. Terrence McGee set to return it. Nice juke. Oh my goodness. Making defenders look silly out there. It's the peanut guy. We can't get back out here, get the run going. A decent run. Four yard pickup for Henry. Yards. If there's a Team USA for American football, you'd imagine they'd look like either the 80s Giants or 90s Bills. Ooh. Hmm. Out up, defense, out up. All right, that's a good question. I don't know. There we go. First down. Travis Henry with the 45. I'm going to go with the uh, Dallas Cowboys kind of uniform, honestly. We had, um, I'm trying to remember what year it was. I can't remember the year. But it had like a different kind of uniform that they don't normally use too often. This is back with Romo. This is the last time I remember seeing it. If I do something like that uniform with obviously the red, white, and blue. Oh my goodness. Alright, I guess we're throwing it. Start to key in on the run. Dinner Shark. Has it. First down, Buffalo. Let's go. Try to go to the air again. Wide open. And there's Lee Evans to the 20 yard line. Buffalo with a nice drive. Getting inside the red zone. Oops. Pretty good season for Evans. He obviously has touchdowns, but it just doesn't show him. Almost 1,000 yards receiving, though. Not too shabby. Up. And that's a drop for Evans this time. Chaos driven, what's going on, brother? We got a tough one on our hands. Seattle's 8 and 2. Oh, nice cut. Four yard pickup for Henry. Not really doing a whole lot for us. Seven for 17. Try to hit Sharp on the right. Up top, Shannon Sharp. Oh, he can't hang on to it. Man, we're gonna have to settle for three. That is unacceptable. He had a beat, too. Ryan Lindell on for the field goal try. Put the Bills up by three. 
Kick is up. And the kick is good. 3 nothing. Not a bad drive. 11 plays. 52 yards. 3 minutes. 21 seconds off the clock. In rainy, rainy Seattle. Who's surprised by that? Something closer to the Brady area. Patriots. Yeah, that could be good. Oh, nice hit. Oh, my goodness. Get him out of here. Our defense. Back to work. Sam Adams, oh man. Posey could have had a pick there. Instead he went for the hit. Typical linebacker. And Sam Adams, no. That's not okay. I'm not happy with that. Oh man. That's super unfortunate. Is that He's having a career season. Yeah, two guys blocked him on that play, so... And his backup comes in, nearly gets a sack, but it's going to be Aaron Schobel getting it instead. That's three defenders in the backfield. Time to make a stand. Let's make a stand. Schobel, four sacks this year, not bad, not bad. Oh, too much time. Way too much time. Too easy for them. Let's go, Bills. Good boys. Uh oh. Okay. Thankfully, we had two defenders there. Sean Alexander was about to stiff arm his way for a touchdown. Final play of the first quarter. Man, he's got too much time again. Luckily, it's Trent Dilfer. Incomplete pass. That ends the first quarter. Buffalo on top, 3-0. And we'll have a third down and four coming up for the Hawks. Let's go defense. Motion, motion, motion. Dang. Get it. All right, nice stop for the defense yet again. Terrence McGee. From his own 11 yard line. Man, oh my goodness. Not a block to be had, I guess. Alright, I want to take a shot down the field here on the first play. Got him open, and Eric Moles with a nice catch. First down, Buffalo. Take another shot downfield. Let's go 50% on the season. I mean, such an average quarterback. Oh my goodness. Sacked again. Hit the button to throw it to circle, but never got rid of it. Loss of seven. I know, Drew. I know. Sam Adams still on the sideline. See how he's feeling at halftime.
Nice throw to Evans. Third down and one. That was a pickup of 16. And that was a rocket of a throw for Bledsoe. King Henry get the carry here. Got to pick it up. And we got it. And he fumbles again. There's no way. He's fumbled so much, guys. This is ridiculous. And Sam Adams will return. All right, bet. Yeah, Travis, you can sit right there, brother. I mean, how are you going to fumble that, bro? Come on. Nice scoop by 94 as well. Those fumbles are going to end up costing us a game. Vikings keeping the Jaguars. Get that. Oh my goodness. Uh, that's what I'm talking about, baby. We bring it. I'm bringing it. Yeah. Let's go defense. Get that. Oh, what a pick by Clements. Oh my goodness. The spinning one-handed pick by Nate Clements. Second for the defense today. Oh, that was pretty. I'm not even sure where he was trying to throw that. Obviously, he doesn't know. It's, uh, it's turned over. Cardinals, they're winning a game right now against the Jets. Flags for. Illegal forward pass. Okay. Interesting. I see counter. I see counter. He's wide open. Run, Lee. Run, Lee, down the sideline. Lee Evans to the 10, five, dropped at the four-yard line. Touchdown saving tackle by, I believe, Michael Bolware. The rookie safety. Wide open on the play-action corner route. And no, that was not Michael Bolware. That was, who was that? I can't even see the number. It's raining so much right now. 2-6, who was that? Ah, uh, it's Hamlin, okay. And that gets Lee Evans over a thousand yards receiving on the season. McGahee in the one yard line. Second and goal coming up. Okay guys, we've covered this before. You know the plan, you know what to do. Stick to the plan. Stick to the plan. Just get good, scrub. Gahey's going to waltz in for six. Bills with a two-score lead here in the second quarter. boys back to work that was not a good kickoff man there is 
Arizona. Figure it out, boys. I mean, hey, they're winning. They're beating the Jets right now. That's, that's not saying a lot, but they can do it. Trent Dilfer stiff arms somebody, and rightfully so, he fumbles it. But it is recovered by Seattle. Who in the heck did he just stiff arm? Because you're fired, whoever you are. I'm sorry. Thomas, brother. And of course, Lawyer Malloy comes in, jars the ball loose. Look at this. How do we not recover that? Guys, how do we not get that? <laughs> Good gracious. Hey, hey, watch out, watch out. Hey, watch out, watch out. Number 26. 26 should be a shame. Like, come on, man. Takeo. What? Brother. How dare you. Too much time to throw it here. I mean, his left tackle is just standing around. With nobody to block. Get him. That's still a strong run from Sean Alexander. Get some pressure on him. Let's go, Big Sam. And Dilfer's throwing that nowhere. Get that nice deflection. And we hold him to three. Should get this one easily, I think. Kiki's up. And the Kiki's good. Seahawks on the board. It's 10 to 3. I don't remember who their kicker is. Decent return to the 34, not bad. Punt, INT, field goal, fumble, touchdown. Very, uh, very inconsistent in this game. Strike from Bledsoe. Six for 10, 151 yards. Not too shabby. Evans, 114 on four catches. Run, Drew. Oh, he didn't slide. Oh, my goodness. 
You don't see that every day. But there was a lot of green grass in front of him. I tell you what, boy. And Anthony Simmons, talk about underrated. He was such a beast for the Seahawks. Wide open. And Eric Moulds is going to drop it on the post. Should have been a big game for us. Wide open. Shannon Sharp tries to truck a man, and he's dropped at the 16. Two for 40 today for Shannon Sharp. Good job, Unc. Good job. Let's over 2,000 yards. Can we get him to 3,000? Lead the man and his picks. That's not good. That was great coverage. Not a good decision to throw that there. Thirteen picks on the year now for Drew Bledsoe. Yeah, he left his receiver to help out. That's no bueno. No bueno. Oh, what a catch. Two minute warning. Outstanding numbers by Trent Dilfer. Really shining here in Seattle. If I was them, I'd be feeding Alexander all game. There we go. Big old Pat Williams gets the sack. That'll bring up fourth down. Let's go, boys. Hit somebody. Oh, my goodness. Never mind. <laughs> Sharp, got it. Nice throw and catch. You get to see the solar eclipse. Nice, Tyler. Comes every seven years. I have no idea, to be honest with you, Tyler. I'm not really uh, into the whole eclipse thing. It doesn't really matter to me. So I don't pay attention to how often it comes around. Whoops. Be nice to Eric Moulds would like to catch the ball. Got a man open. It's Lee Evans again, all the way to the 21 yard line. It's been a nice two minute drill from Bledsoe. Crowd unhappy right now. Open. Oh, and he dropped it. Come on, Lee. No, there's no flag, brother. You, you got to catch the ball. That's the problem.
Second down and 10. We got 24 seconds. Plenty of time here. And we are sacked. Try to hit circle over the middle. Go no huddle. Come on, boys. Get to the line. Over the middle. There's Shark. Call time now. Kick another field goal. Go up by 10. Sharp four catches, 70 yards today. Not too bad at all. And that is right down the middle. It's 13 to 3 here in Seattle, Washington. Sloppy game so far on both ends. Some interceptions. Fumble from Henry. But hey, we have the lead. We're up 10. And we get the ball to start the second half. Nice hit. Let's go to Willis McGahee. Nice five yard pickup on first down, not too bad. goodness Reed up past the 45 yard line safety's cleared out hey what up Tom what's going on brother hey no I, I know you're not really on discord Tom but I did send you a message on there I don't know if I, I don't think I have your cell phone or Noah's cell phone anymore, so. He's open. Oh my goodness, what a throw by Bledsoe. Rolling to the right. And a great catch from Lee Evans, who's having a stellar performance. Two yards for Evans. Who's open? Who's open? Over the middle. Nice catch. Molds actually hangs on, but there's a flag. Oh, come on. Your number should still be in the Discord, though, right, Tom? In one of our messages? I'll have to look for it again. McGahee. Nice catch and run. Two yards shy of the sticks. I mean, who am I kidding, Tom? I could have messaged you on the PlayStation. What am I doing? Man, Bledsoe's got 274 yards right now. Goodness gracious. Nice catch, though, from McGahee. We don't really throw to the running backs too often. Skins beat the Steelers. Colts beat the Lions. Peyton Manning with a 69 yard touchdown pass. Nice. And Gahey will move the chains. Oh, 
Oh, he's open. We got him. Shannon Sharp is down the one yard line. Oh my goodness, that's unlucky. Was trying for the touchdown. Sharp's been getting open all game. It's been really nice to see. And Drew Bledsoe is going to walk in for six. Let's go, Drew. Okay. I kind of feel bad. Seattle's without their starting quarterback. They're without a starting corner and a receiver. We're getting really lucky with this schedule. I missed that, I think. I adjusted that way too much. That's my bad. Sorry, we're still doing good on field goals. I wasn't expecting the kick meter to, to go that far to the right. Cardinals, they're, they're on their way. They're almost there. Uh-oh. There we go. Good team tackle there. Only seven carries for Sean Alexander. That's not okay if you're a Seahawks fan. for having a rough day. Get that. Oh, he dropped it. Come on, Reed. Perfect throw from Bledsoe. That's unfortunate. 296 yards. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Get out of here. Nice stiff arm by Willis McGahee. Yeah. Good job. 2 6, having a rough day. Yard pickup this time. <laughs> I don't know why they're so upset about a four yard game. Like, I know he's killing them, but it's just four yards, guys. Let's throw to 300, but no touchdowns, two picks. Uh oh, toast. Not very good blocking by 74. Alright, 
third down and 11. Up top, and Evans again. They can't cover him. Might be the best passing performance we've had all season. Just don't have any touchdowns to show for it. Oh, we do have a touchdown. Wait, what? No, we don't. We have a rushing touchdown. And again, he had a rushing touchdown. What are we talking about here? And Lee Evans is just wide open all game long. What are they doing in the secondary? yards now nine catches he's just open all the time and we're gonna take off through Bledsoe gets the chains moving again let's go a the roll out there was just nobody out there on the whole right side of the field I mean, nobody within about 15, 20 yards. Let's settle down, though, Drew. We don't we need you to get hurt. We don't have a Tom Brady to come back in, you know, if you get concussed again. And it deflected away. Shannon Sharp, the intended target. Couldn't quite get it there. Goal coming up. Whoops, don't want to do that. Here we go. Is only going to get one yard. We've got to try a field goal. Get a very odd NFL score of 22. Going to kick this and let it go into the fourth quarter. Why did he not snap the ball? <laughs> okay then. Fourth quarter, boys. We got the Dolphins coming up next. Bills on top, 19 to three. At the end of three. Kick these up and good. 22 to 3 is now the score. 11 plays, 65 yard drive. Took just about four minutes off the clock. There we go. Max Power. Nice hit. Alexander in check in this one, trying to force Trent Dilfer to win him the game. And well, we know how that turns out. Alexander, I'm on you. Get that. Nice catch. Oh my goodness.
Bill for 7 of 18, 83 yards. I mean, that's that's pretty typical <laughs> of Trent Dilfer. Excuse me. All right, second down and six. You got more of the same thing coming. You try to run again. Not a bad season for Fletcher. Good yeah, boys. And it's picked off. Pearson Prelo's got this one. Man, Trent Dilber's bad. Super Bowl winning quarterback, though. That was just a great play. Faded away from his target, and uh, that was just too easy. Try to run this clock down, get out of here with the dub. Try to throw it, but be safe with it. Ryan Mormon on for the punt. Get this in the corner. Try to. I don't think we got that very well. Oh, not bad at all, actually. Defense. Nice throw. I mean, Dilfer has had some decent throws. Six picks on the season, I think, or five. And Fletcher to flex it up in the air. Can't get there for the pick. Get him, boys. Another pick? Nope. Oh, my goodness. So many bills over there. And none of them come away with the pick. And they're going to go for fourth and ten. Keith Brooking gets a pick six today for the Falcons. And they complete the pass, but only for a few yards. Crowd not happy with that. I 
dude. Don't get put to sleep in the stands, please. Oh my goodness. They're going at us. Willis Not bad filling in for Henry who likes to cough up the football every other carry. First down for McGee. One more play should take us to the two-minute warning. The defense is getting lit up. I just feel bad. <laughs> Matt Hasselbeck's injured, so unfortunate. I think I snapped the ball too early. I did. That's my bad. Gets the first down. Almost juked out the safety. And yeah, they're going to start calling timeouts, I guess. Not that it matters too much. Final timeout. Let's go, Willis. Come on, brother. Can't get the first down, or the touchdown, rather. All right, take a field goal with Lindell. such a wobbler. I don't understand that. There's no way that should have moved that far like that. That's crazy. Two misses today. A field goal and an extra point.
That should have been a pick. Oh my goodness. All day, baby. All day. You ain't getting nothing. Pass, pass. Watch the pass. They're going to pass. They're going to pass. Uh oh. Probably the best play of the day for the Seahawks on offense. And they will spike it. And that hits three Buffalo Bills. Falls harmlessly to the ground, huh? And it's picked again. Troy Vincent has his third of the season. And he returns it up to the 42-yard line of Seattle. That will do it for this one. Dilfer, really rough day. Seattle going to uh, go to 8-3 on the season. Bill's going to be 10-1. and one. Man, no tackles. <laughs> Two picks today. Just to get the first down. All right, that's going to be the final 22 to 3 here in Seattle. Secondary having a field day against Trent Dilfer. And Drew Bledsoe had a pretty good game. I have two picks, but over 300 yards passing. Not bad. Wish we could have had him at their best, though. Down a starting receiver, their quarterback, their number one corner. We had 455 yards of offense. They only had 173. Our defense is just legit. So, rough day at the office for, <laughs> for that offense. They were 11% on third down as well, just one for nine. That is terrible. Man, time possession. Killed him. Killed him. Take a look at the weekly wrap-up show. Chris Berman. Well, let's get straight to the action. In our first game this week, we had the Cardinals squeeze out a four-point victory. The Cowboys let's go, Cardinals. First dub, baby. In the NFC East. Randy Moss stepped it up this week and gave his team some added firepower for the win. In a long-standing AFC rivalry, we had the Titans pick up their sixth win of the year. Rashawn Woods 
pulled down 100-plus receiving yards and helped his 49ers beat the Dolphins. Down in the deep south of Atlanta, we had the Falcons come away with a seven-point win. Redskins, Steelers. Rod Gardner is a threat from anywhere on the field. The ball at the 42. Little stutter step, but he's going for the post. Quarterback sees him. The 15, the 10, the 5, touchdown. The Redskins win this one by the final score of 22 to 14. Over at Arrowhead Stadium, we had the Chiefs get nipped by three points. The Patriots' defense held their opponents to under 100 rushing yards in their win at Gillette Stadium. We had a big injury in this one, and Trey has the lowdown for us. Trey? All right, Boomer, thanks. In front of you, we've got the AFC Infirmary Report. Damn, Chad. They were hit hard this week. Chad Pennington is probably the one that most leaps out at you. Doctors confirming the worst this week, a torn hamstring. And that'll put him out for the rest of the regular season. There's a chance, however, they'll get him back for the playoffs. In front of you, we've got the NFC list. And as you can see, they could form their own mash unit. Lavernius Coles won't see action for a while, so this offense is going to have to make do without him. It's reported that he's broken his hip, and if that's the case, he'll be out for the rest of the regular season. There's a chance, however, they'll get him back for the playoffs. Broken hip. Now, My goodness. Even bigger news, as you may have already heard. Randy, Randy. Stark is done for the year as he'll watch the rest of the season from the sideline. And they'll be scrambling now to find someone that can fill his shoes. Now the big story. Of the oh my day. goodness. Todd Heath will be on the sidelines for a while, and that is not good news for his club. So that's that tough. For now, Chris, let's send it back to you. The Packers won at home, but will take to the road next week to meet the Eagles. The Raiders won this contest, but will stay at the first place in the AFC West. Wow. The Bills win yet again this week and keep their impressive streak alive. Dominic Rhodes pulled down 100-plus receiving yards and helped his coach <laughs> beat the Lions. Peyton Manning, 4 carries, 6 yards. What In the heck? In long-standing NFC rivalry, we had the Giants win their fifth game of the season. In the gentle climbs of the Carolinas, we had the Panthers get squeezed out by 4 points. And last but not least, we had the Browns come away victorious. So let's change things up a bit and turn to a guy that's had his eye on the college game, and that's our own Mel Kuyper Jr. He joins us now. Mel, your work never ends, I know. Believe me, I know better than anybody else. But it's never too early to start thinking about next year's draft, is it? Never too early indeed. And now that, for the most part, the regular season in college football is behind us, we can really start looking back at the guys who have impressed you the most across college campuses this year. Porter is a guy right off the bat that's really impressed me thus far. 5'8", 209, out of Maryland. And this is a guy that's shown that... Remind me not to draft him. ...in his ball games this fall. His closing speed combined with his quick feet and hands are scout salivating over its potential. Clark is another guy that's starting to make some noise with a terrific senior season. He was a virtual unknown coming into this year, but people are starting to project him to have a solid NFL career. I'm starting to jump on the bandwagon as well. So that'll do it for now, but you can guarantee that the big board is going to see a lot of risers and fallers between now and April. So that'll just about do it. But before we go, I'm going to toss out a few game balls to my prime time players. Each and every one of these men had a week to remember. That'll do it, sports fans. I'm Chris Berman, and thanks so much for joining us here in the Bristol studio. We'll see you next week right here on ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. All right, boys, let's take on the Dolphins. In Miami, too, so please don't rain. Please be nice weather. I beg of thee. I wish I had my other controller right now. I would make them wear classic uniforms. Hey, I'm Chris Berman. Coming up on ESPN, they're just about ready to go down in South Florida. Pro Player Stadium is where we'll find Dan, Peter, and Susie. They'll have the call for this one.
the field getting loose. The fans are filing in and finding the seats. Get it. Let's get it. All right, time. I got it, buddy. All right, let me turn the commentary off now. Let's go defense. Teams like Seattle, Miami, they have amazing running backs. They got to start feeding them. He's open. And he dropped it. All right. Good job, defense. Let's go with a corner blitz. Interesting. <laughs> what the heck? All right, we'll take that. It's fourth down now. They're gonna punt it away. Let's go, Terrence. Let's go, buddy. Just run into my own guy. That's awesome. Touchdown passes, huh? Henry, don't you fumble my football. If he fumbles again today in this game, uh, I'm, I'm really benching him for the rest of the year. There we go, reaching forward, got the first down. Uh 
No, that's not a, not a good throw. Not a good decision. It's all right. Let's go back to the ground. yards for Henry. Alright. See what we can do on third and eight. Oh, Eric Moles, what are you doing, brother? That's not a good start. Mormon on to punt it out of here. And we're booting it. Coffin corner? No, I don't think so. Probably not. That's no, not too bad. That's actually really good. I think you got a couple extra yards out of it with that bounce. Seven-yard line. Very nice. Are you saying, Adams? I'd like to get a sack. Oh, I whiffed on that. I should have got the tackle there. Misplayed it. deflection. Oh my goodness. Aloy Maloy. Highlight of the season so far was his 100 plus yard pick six off of Chad Pennington against the Jets. Man, it was pretty. Come on, get me out of here. Nice conversion. Dang it. having a phenomenal season. 21 touchdowns, just 8 picks. Yeah, in his dreams. Good lord. He never sniffed those kind of numbers. You couldn't see me coming, Ricky? Ricky, no room to run, Williams. Get him, boys. Get that. Oh, what in the world? No way. How did he do that? a watermelon through a pinhole right there. What do you mean? Oh my goodness gracious. That's ridiculous. That was insane. No way. Keep out of 
Get him. Man, we can't get there. Fourth down, though. Man, I love that white helmet. That's nice. Just something really, really clean about a white helmet. Come on, wire block him, please. He didn't block him. He had one job. Tight coverage on Molds on the left. If he breaks off of it, could be good. It's not. But we got Reed. He's open for the first down. We'll take it. Press coverage got Reed at the line, but able to break free to make the reception. Safeties are all up towards the line of scrimmage. Throw it up top. Shannon Sharp's got a beat. Sharp with a nice catch and a big gain for the first down. Play action was perfect. DB kind of got lost a little bit, allowing Sharp to get up behind him there. All the way to the 40 yard line. Nice throw and catch. Oh my goodness. Not sure how he was able to squeeze that through there. Zone, Eric Moles, touchdown, Buffalo, baby, let's go. Thirty yard catch for the veteran receiver. Lindell, rough game. Gets the Seahawks. Missed extra point and field goal. Let's see if we can uh, do a little better here against our divisional rivals. It's actually had a pretty stellar season, but I don't know what the heck happened last game. The wind wasn't that crazy. Get him, boys. Uh-oh, that's not good. Eat him. Man, Williams just can't find any room to run. Posey. Over 200 career tackles now. Uh oh, dang it. That looked like holding on Sam Adams, but they didn't call it. Take 
Big old Pat Williams. Uh oh. Come on, man. That was a good throw, too. Is that Chambers on the drop? Yes, sir. Gotta catch those, Chris. slide <laughs> oh my goodness oh Bledsoe you're so slow and on the first quarter Buffalo on top seven nothing here in Miami Florida and boy is it some beautiful weather out there sure makes up for the rain game we just had in Seattle that was that was an ugly game Shark hangs on to it. Another big catch for the tight end. Six for eight, 108 yards and a touchdown. Not too shabby. Can't get another touchdown here. Ah, nice deflection by the safety. That was a risky throw. Thought we could fit it in there, but no cigar. Peanuts. All right, third down of seven. Crucial play here at midfield. Oh, I'm so glad that was deflected the line because I was throwing that to molds and that was going to be a pick. He was not open. See if we can't knock this out of bounds inside the 10-yard line again. Not sure about that one. Yeah, that'll go out inside the 15, maybe the 10. That's out of the 13. Not bad. Not bad at all. Feel the pressure, Chambers. Single back. Single back. Let's go defense. There we go. Got big old Sam Adams in on a tackle with Posey. Man, if I had Ricky Williams in the backfield, he'd get 25 carries a game. Easy. I fell down. That's tough, man. He's got a couple guys open here. He's not throwing it. That's a crazy throw. He gets square wide open on the sideline. Should have been a pick six. Come on, baby. You got to catch that, brother. 
That's crazy. Yes, overthrown. Trying to hit the tight end over there. Oh my goodness, that's a pick six. Nate Clements read it like a book. Woo, let's go. Probably shouldn't have taunted there, but I had to do it. Let's go, Nate. Look at this. Oh, that's pretty. Feely, where are you throwing that, brother? Come on, London. One more tackle, buddy. Oh my goodness, I'm getting bodied out here on the offensive line. Jeez. Down at six for the Dolphins. And Vincent drops another pick. Come on, Troy. What are you doing? He's turning it on by having no hands. Let's try to run it a little bit, huh? Let's get it. There we go. Good run. Do some block in there. Third and one situation here. Gonna go Henry again. This is seventh carry. And that's easy first. Oh, he breaks free. Travis Henry inside the 30. Still going to the 18. Let's go. Oh, that was pretty. Did you see the speed burst from my guy? Holy smokes. Nice little 28 yard scamper. See, if he 
just didn't fumble the ball so often. He can be a top guy, you know? Oh my, yeah, not on that play. Oof. Loss of two for Henry. What do I want to do here? What do I want to do? Let's go play action. Oh, he's open. Shannon Sharp, first and goal, Buffalo. Got to get my boy Bledsoe another touchdown, huh? Open, touchdown, Eric Moulds, second of the game. They just didn't even cover the middle of the field. What are they doing? Let's go Molds! I think it's uh, the most touchdowns he's had in the game this season. He hasn't been that great for us. A little inconsistent, some drop passes here and there. Obviously Lee Evans has been the guy. Oh man, he just trucked me when I was trying to get a big hit on him. Defense, get another takeaway. I whiffed on that. Should have had him with Adams. Man, you, you guys hear that stationary bike? That's in rough shape. <laughs> oh my goodness. I think a professional football team can. Splurge and, and buy a new stationary bike. That's a nice sack on the play by Mr. Fletcher. I think that's the third sack of the season by him. Fourth tackle today. And it's third and 13 coming up. Two minute warning. Troy, let's go, he caught it, let's go! Oh, that's another pick six for the Bills. Let's go, I thought I stepped out of bounds right there. I was gonna cry. I really thought I stepped out at the one yard line. <laughs> oh man, I got so excited there. Thanks, refs. Let's hurry up and kick this before they challenge that, because he definitely stepped out. That's my bad. All right, so we're killing Miami right now. We're up 28 nothing. Nada. Zip. Zilch. Zero. Cruising. Fins with the goose egg. I just keep getting max power. What's going on with my thumb today, huh? Crazy, man. There we go. That's beautiful. Downs the kick return. This stadium, I mean, you could hear a pin drop just about. We got two pick sixes. Drew Bledsoe's got two touchdown passes, both to Eric Moulds. 
We're just built different, you know? Man, Fury's stats were actually great before this game. What happened? No way, Vincent drops, okay, so he's dropped three interceptions, and he has an interception. He should have four. I'm disappointed, Troy. Seven incompletions in a row. He is completely rattled and off the rails. Get him, get him. No, oh, that's a touchdown. Oh, my goodness. Well. Seven straight incompletions and then a touchdown, so I guess I'll just shut my face then, right? I'll just stop talking now. Way to rebound, Feely. Go, Terrence. Oh, first guy got juked out of his jack strap. Beautiful. And we are safely at the top of the AFC East. We had a close game against New England earlier in the season. Whoops, wrong button. And uh, the Jets, well, they're just done because Chad Pennington is busted. And the Jets, or I mean uh, the Dolphins, are struggling as well. So. Get out of the way, blocker. Oh my goodness. Imagine if I didn't have to try to run against my own blocker and defenders at the same time. He's gone. Travis Henry. He is loose. And touchdown. Buffalo pouring it on here in sunny Miami, Florida. Hundred twenty four yards on ten carries for Travis Henry. Nice little rebound game from him after getting benched against Seattle for yet another fumble. Two plays, eighty one yard drive. Just lovely. I really wasn't trying to do anything crazy on that drive. Oh my goodness, another max power kick. What is happening today? I've never heard those voice lines in this game before. That was really cool. Lucy, Lucy, 
Get him, boys. Yeah, don't let Ricky run. Don't let him do it. to bring him down. What a beast. They're not going to do anything with the ball here, though. Oh, they're actually going to snap it. Get him! Let's go! Lawyer Malloy gets the sack. Everybody out there making plays today. They want that, you're fired. Go coach the Pittsburgh Panthers, buddy. All right, it's halftime, and I think it's safe to say we got this one on the bag, but we're not going to let off the gas, of course. Anything can happen. Just a casual four-touchdown lead. Nice juke. Man, he's always making the first guy miss. So nice. Punt, touchdown, punt, touchdown, touchdown. Glorious. Let's not forget the two pick sixes. Can't forget all that. Let's do it. Who's open? Anybody? I'm gonna take off. Drew Bledsoe! Fastest man in the world. Seven yard carry. He's two for nine yards. Oh, he's wide open. What are they doing? Did you just forget about one of the best receivers in the league? He's bringing it all day. In case you guys are wondering. Oh, Travis. Oh, what the heck? How is he not touched right there? That was interesting. Okay then. Eric Moulds. Oh, off the fingertips. That's not what I did. Oh boy, this is going to be a terrible play. Why did he jump like a weirdo? <laughs> what are you calling for a flag for, Josh? That was awful. Catch the dang ball next time, brother. That might be a good one. He ain't going to catch it. He ain't going to catch it. Oh, he caught it. Dang. Inside the 20 yard line. Let's go defense. Bears getting crushed at home against the Vikings. Uh oh, that's not good. Oh, thank goodness he stepped out of bounds. Man, oh man. I thought he stayed in. Nice 
tackle. Way. Oh, what a hit. Let's go, Spikes. Good hit, big dog. Big dog. Man, Titan's about to beat the Colts in Indy. Okay. Oh, boy. Almost got me there. Almost got me. Oh, my double team getting killed over here. Oh, no way, lawyer. How do you miss that, brother? What are we doing? I know we're winning by, like, you know, four touchdowns, but... Let's get it together, huh? Healy's starting to catch fire. I don't know how he caught that. Good lord. Get him. There we go. Big hits all around. Number 28. Uh oh. That's a good run. That's never, that's never good when you got a corner. One on one versus Ricky Williams. Nice cut right there. Vincent and Fletcher both couldn't bring him down. Oh, Chambers, you better change it up because I got your number. Booster, booster. The legend Rob Conrad in the backfield, the fullback. I like that they're feeding Ricky right now. That's nice. That looked like some possible miscommunication there. Get two guys in the same spot. Let's go defense. Let's get it done. So stop to it. Nice play. Touchdown Miami. They're fighting hard right now. Austin, Mr. Stonehands himself with the catch. He pinned it between his bricks and held on for dear life. Alright, 35-14 Miami trying to swim their way back into it. Home crowd starting to get behind their team again. Why does he just not kneel it down? That's so infuriating. Just kneel it. Right. There's nobody over here. You're going to let Drew Bledsoe run for another first down. Oh my goodness. You got to be ashamed of yourselves. He's a statue, but, I mean, if you leave that much space wide open, we're going to run for it. It's just how it is. Let's go, Henry. Nice catch and run.
Easy peasy. Let's go play action. He's got him beat. And he drops it. And there's a flag. What is that for, sir? Tell me. Wow, that's that's lovely. Just great. Not only do we drop the ball, uh, but we have clipping, and we're back to first and twenty-five. And that was an awful throw from Bledsoe. Man, Miami really, really is just not laying down right now. That was a perfect play by 25. Forgive me, I, I don't remember everybody's name. My brain's a potato. Good voice. Oh my goodness, so much time to throw. And he's wide open. Throwing it all the way back across the field. Receivers are catching fire now. Keep your eyes on the play we gotta wake up, defense. They're gonna challenge, see if they got the first down, I guess. Overturned, did they actually get the first down or what? Third down. No, they didn't even get the first down. <laughs> Man, come on. Well, yeah. what a great challenge that was, huh? Right. They won the challenge, but still do not get the first. That's awesome. Just great. Get him! Let's go, baby! Let's go! Takeo Spikes gets the sack. First of the day, and it's fourth and four. Miami likely will send on Alinda Mare for the field goal. It'll be a 47-yard try by number 10. Kick is up, and Mare's kick is true, and it's 35-17 now. It was a great kick. Got to remember, this is not modern-day football right now, so kickers were not just booting 60-yard field goals left and right, or 50-yard field goals left and right either. So a 47-yarder, that's, that's pretty dang good back then. In 04. Yeah, let's return it. Why not? Who that cares? That's, that's... Oh my goodness, we got lucky. Man, we're just trying to throw the game away, I guess. Bledsoe distributing the ball nicely across the field in this one. And their defense is just going to start to stonewall us. Let's go strong power. Good 
run. Third down and four coming up. Oh my goodness, Drew, what are you doing, brother? Oh my gracious. That was an awful throw. Did he get hit? I don't know if he got hit or not. I don't think he got hit. Oh. Did his arm get hit? I mean, I guess... Oh yeah, he did kind of get hit. That was a wobbler. I was trying to lead sharp. Oh my goodness. Putting our defense in a really tough spot now. Come on, boys, get there. What are we doing? They're just wide open every play now. Oh man. Oh, the sack Malloy got earlier, that's his first of the season for him. There we go, Big Sam Adams, nice tackle. Posey helping him out as well. Final play of the third quarter. Miami going to be pulling within 11 points. This is crazy right now. Hats off to them though, man. They have not given up at all. Ricky! Can we hang on for the win? Because right now it's it's not looking so hot. Ladies! What's up? Get off the screen. This feels like the Patriots game we had in the beginning of the season. Defense is playing lights out in the second half. And our offense just can't get it together for some reason. Man, Greenwood, he was fun to watch too back in the day. But that block, oh. Come on, man. This is exactly uh, the opposite of what I wanted right now. Stuck in a third down and seven. Let's go shotgun. 50Z stop. Trying to run the clock down a little bit here. open. And there's Mullins. Nice catch and a broken tackle off the spin move. 
Best game of the season from him. Just three catches, though. How do we miss that throw, Drew? Get the clock moving again. Third down and six. We can get this. Easy money. I want the corner route on the left. Do we do it out of play action or not? No. 50 double swing. Open. Oh my goodness, the fullback. He's wide open, man. How are we dropping that, brother? Come on, Shelton. We've done diddly poo nothing here in the second half. This is outrageous. Another punt inside the 20 yard line for Brian Mormon. Fullback looking bad. I know it, man. He's missed some blocks today. He's dropping a pass where he's wide open. I mean, I'm trying to give him opportunities here. Good job, boys. Fletcher, five tackles. One for loss, one sack. He had four tackles in the first quarter. I'm not sure what happened the last... Uh, Two quarters after that. Look at the Cardinals. They might win two in a row, boys. Oh, I thought that was a fumble. Come on, man. Give me a break, would you? They're going to go for it? They're going to go for it. They're down 11. Less than five minutes to go. <laughs> I feel that defender's frustration. Yeah, just punt the ball. He's open. We got the pick. Lauren Malloy, baby. This is going to be our third pick six of the game by three different players. And that is his fourth pick six of the season. Is Did I read that right? Is that what that said on the bottom? There's no way. I know he's got at least two, but four touchdown interceptions by a single player. Wow. That's kind of nutty. He's got seven tackles in this game as well. We have three pick sixes in one game. Not for those picks. I'm, I'm pretty sure Miami probably would have whooped us, to be honest. We played terrible for the whole second half. Especially on offense. Look at that max power came off again. Pass is going over the top. I mean, Vincent could have had that pick as well. He was right next to him. They're basically holding hands. We nearly have another interception. Man, you better get up off the ground. Keep your eyes on the pass. Keep your eyes on the pass. Down. Nice tackle, lawyer. Eighth tackle of the game from Malloy. Down, power up. 
And nearly picked again. Turnover on downs. Defense stepping it up. Jay Feely, 10 of 29, 212 yards, two touchdowns, and I think four interceptions. Apparently we experienced some drop frames. Apologies for that. messing up. He didn't hit anybody on that play. Did you say out on the tackle? Third down to five. We'll give it off to McGahee. Close to the six. They're probably going to bring out the chain gang here. Bring them out, boys. I don't think we got it. It's a good effort by Willis, though. And we kicked the field goal. Ryan Lindell. Let the clock run down as much as we can. Kick is up and good. Here we go. Back to a three touchdown lead. Noah, what's up, brother? <laughs> what's going on, man? Long time no see, my guy. Man, YouTube is tripping right now. It's saying that there's an error. You guys aren't receiving the video, but uh, everything is perfect. Okay, YouTube. I think you're drunk, bro. Oh, the shovel pass. Okay. Nice effort by Ricky. supposed to text and stream I've been doing it for uh, like two hours man what do you mean <laughs> a 
Multitasking. I'm very talented. Oh my goodness, Thomas nearly had a pick. I think it's I'm not supposed to text and drive. You know, I think that's what that is. Which I don't do. I'm a good boy. Come on, get me back here. Oh my goodness, just got trucked. Okay, Thomas, sit down, buddy. Oh, poor AJ Feely. I mean, he had a pretty good second half, so hats off to him. That first half was nasty, though. Five receiver set up coming for the Dolphins. Healy over 250 yards passing now. About 40% completion percentage. Oh my, how did he fit that over the defender? Get him, boys! Oh, Sam Adams got there. Dang it. Got there a split second too late. If only Sam Adams wasn't 500 pounds, you know? Oh, Chambers, you better change it up because I got your number. I saw the guy that takes you back, takes you back to simpler times. Yo, I feel that for sure. Oh, that was almost a crazy pick by Fletcher. You know, we should do this more often, boys. We really should. And by more often, I mean all the time. Every day, all day. Let's go defense. Fourth and inches. Get him! Oh, we nearly had another one. Come on, Troy. Pick that, brother. Healy, it's okay, buddy. You, you try. You tried your best. You threw like you threw four or three pick sixes, right? Or was it four? I can't even remember. I'm gonna run it one more time here. Oh no way! Let's go. You call that final timeout. See if I care. We'll run it again. King Henry, baby, let's go. 8.9 yards per carry today. Let's go. Nah, eh, not that time. Moreland Greenwood with the tackle. Alright, so we are going to get the dub here against Miami. They definitely made it interesting in the second half. I mean, we were killing them for a long time. This will probably be the final play, most likely. Yes, sir! Stayed up just long enough to, <laughs> to make sure that was the final play. So 45 to 24 is going to be the final defense. Uh, other than some, a couple drives, our defense played fantastic. Bunch of interceptions. I think we got a few sacks as well. What's create a team like in 2K5? Uh, not great. <laughs> it's not great. They have like pre-made teams. I don't really think you can customize them. As far as like colors and, and whatnot, as far as I remember. I never used to create teams in this game just just because it's so bad. Looks better than you remember? I mean it is nice. Hey, nice job. Hey, hey, good job, guys. 
It's not my favorite football game, but it's pretty good. I think it definitely does get overhyped a little bit, but... All right, 196 rushing yards for Buffalo, 168 passing. Not too shabby. We picked them off three times. We returned all of them for touchdowns. AJ Feely out here looking like a, you know, a young Tony Romo. <laughs> sacks, I think. What did we have? Three sacks today? Bledsoe, 168 yards, two touchdowns, and two bad interceptions in the second half, which helped Miami uh, claw their way back into it and got within 11. But we finished strong there in the fourth quarter. And we'll sneak out of here with the dub. And we improved to, well, 11 and 1. I think we've won 10 straight. Posey, 10 tackles today. Malloy with 8 as well. Yeah, we had, uh, we had three sacks. Fletcher, Spikes, and Malloy. Always nice seeing the, the strong safety come up and make a play. I think it was on a rollout as well. Madden fatigue definitely overhyped it. Yeah, I, I can agree with that. I'll admit, you know, I was on the bandwagon for this game too. I mean, it's you know, it's a really good game. I think it just gets stale a little bit, you know. Like right now, I'm eleven and one with the, with Drew Bledsoe and the Buffalo Bills, you know. What do we want to do? Turn off Chris Berman. Uh, first, let's save it. I can quickly show you the uh, team creator. We'll back out real quick. Then we'll go back in and we'll finish up the stream um, with the weekly wrap-up for everybody. And by everybody, I mean the four concurrent viewers that we have. That's another thing. I mean, this series isn't really getting a whole lot of uh, excitement. <laughs> you know, there's not a lot of views on this on this series. Uh, I'm only going to be doing one season of it because I keep getting uh, restrictions on the videos because of the in-stadium music. Which is kind of crazy. I can't do anything about it, so there's that. Alright, let's back out real quick. Uh, features. Team Create. Yeah, sure, we'll do that. Yeah, like, these are the logos, and you can see, like, the uniforms and stuff. And I don't think you can... I'm just gonna go through quick. Yeah, you can select the stadium, and then you pick your players. Like, it's just... Like the newer Maddens, you know, it's just fully made teams already that you can't do anything with. Which kind of sucks. A lot, actually. But, I mean, that just looks like the Chargers. Okay. Yeah, that's it for, uh, for the team creator. We'll go back into the uh, franchise real quick. Don't mind my 49ers franchise. Don't mind that. All right, and as always, guys, before you head out of the stream, don't forget to slap the like button and subscribe if you are new and join the Discord community. There's a link in the description below for that. Still accepting players for our NCAA baseball uh, Syracuse Orangeman Dynasty. So if you want a player in that series, uh, yeah, go ahead and join us. Team creators better than the newer Maddens. I mean, I can't really disagree. I'm just, it's frustrating as a guy that loves to create teams to not be able to actually fully customize them, you know? Yeah, it's, uh, <laughs> it's so frustrating. That's all right. That's what we got. That's what we got Maddens for on the PS2, you know? All right, but that's it. I'm headed out, guys. Noah, Tom, great seeing you, buddies. And, uh, yeah, I'll keep texting you. Take it easy, guys.
games to cover. Let's get at it. In our first game this week, we had the Texans decisively win by 17 points. The Lions lost this one and will now fall to second place in the NFC North. In a long-standing AFC rivalry, we had the Steelers pick up their sixth win of the year. Ashley Lalee stepped it up this week and gave his team some added firepower for the win. Kiri Colbert pulled down 100-plus receiving yards and helped his Panthers beat the Saints. Up in the Windy City of Chicago, we had the Bears drop this one by 17. Giants, Redskins. Well-dressed Amani Toomer is always a guy to look for when you're at the 10-yard line, as they are right now. Here's the snap, the lob, touchdown! The Giants go on to win this by the final score of 14-7. to Over at the Cleveland Browns Stadium, we had the Browns come away with a 7-point win. The Rams' defense pummeled their way to five sacks in their win at the Edward Jones Dome. The Seahawks lost at home and will have to hit the road to meet the Vikings. The Buccaneers won this contest, but will stay at the first place in the NFC South. In a long-standing AFC rivalry, we had the Bengals win their ninth game of the year. We had a big injury in this one, and Trey has the lowdown for us. Trey? All right, Chris, thanks. This week had some big injuries, and we'll get to all of them, but we're going to start right here. Musin Muhammad sticks out on this list as one of the more costly injuries. X-rays revealing that a broken foot is the report. He'll be out for the rest of the regular season. There's a chance, however, they'll get him back for the playoffs. Darren Sharper had another fantastic week, and in the victory, kept his streak of landmark stats alive. Steve Air McNair went to the end zone four times and helped his Titans beat the Colts. Down in South Florida, Miami, we had the Dolphins prove ineffective and lose by 21. And in our final game, we had the Raiders come away victorious. All right, Boomer, thanks. With the playoffs a little more than a month away, things are starting to get real interesting when it comes to seeding and the races for the division crown. Let's start things off by taking a look at the AFC. Meanwhile, over in the NFC, the playoff picture looks like this. So that's how things shape up. Still plenty of intriguing matchups upcoming as we get closer and closer to January. And that'll do it from here. Chris, let's send it back over to you. So another week in the books here on ESPN. But what do you say we hand out a few game balls before we go? Here's my prime time player. That'll do it, sports fans. I'm Chris Berman, and thanks so much for joining us here in the Bristol studios. We'll see you next week right here on ESPN the worldwide leader in sports.